Uh, your reaction to uh, to what uh, Mr. Powell said yesterday is this uh, too fast, too slow, Goldilocks? What do you think? <laughs> well, you know, Chairman Powell, he said, and he said he would telegraph it. He said he would announce it. He uh, really gave markets, I think, a fair degree of warning. You heard in the uh, run-up, really, to yesterday's decision, a number of uh, Federal Reserve governors um, and officials indicating that this was coming, and indeed it came. So I think he delivered exactly what he said he would and when he would. And um, I think that uh, the reaction that was received in markets was essentially all that was expected. But to the degree that there are still questions about whether he should have done this before or perhaps even waited, you'd land where? Well, it's interesting. I think he did it. I think um, I think the timing was just as he as he indicated it would be. Um, essentially, you see now that there are really two sets of decisions. These were, you know, this is the this is the this, the taper decisions, and the, the, the taper will begin um, in the month of November in this month, and it will proceed um, in a regularly scheduled fashion. Um, he's also, you know discussing with the Federal Open Market Committee what comes next. And what comes next has not been announced yet to markets. And that, of course, is going to be the increase, um, presumably the increase uh, in the federal funds rate and when those increases uh, should begin. And you see, of course, markets already timing in essentially when those, uh, when they believe those increases will occur. But the Fed and the FOMC, they, of course, they play a very delicate balance here with, with markets. They don't want to get too far ahead of them, but neither do they want to lag because, of course, when either of those things is out of kilter, you have a real, you know, a real possibility that, um, you know, that mistakes are made, um, particularly on the inflation side. So the markets are making their own forecast. If you were whispering in his ear, what would you be telling him? What would be your <laughs> Well, forecast? this is not about me. This is not about what I would be whispering in his ear. But you, you know, essentially what, what, what the F Federal Open Market Committee looks at is they're looking at economic conditions. They are looking at their dual mandate, their mandate regarding maximum um, uh, maximum uh, employment and in the context of price stability. And so essentially they are keeping their eyes on the data. And as the data emerges and, and data, you know, is not perfect. So they have to look at a whole host of indicators um, to see how they're, you know, if they're if they're meeting their mark. And um, uh, but what do you think the so mark is? Because it, because I think there has been a major shift clearly with with Chairman Powell in terms of focusing on employment. What does the employment picture have to look like, do you think, for him to take well, his foot off that, that gas pedal? Right. Forward? And he has indicated that he, you know, essentially wants to see and there will need to see more progress um, on the um, on the employment side. So essentially, the Federal Open Market Committee looks at a host of labor market indicators. They are not just looking at the unemployment rate. Uh, they are now looking at, uh, at looking at the labor market by sector. Uh, they're looking at labor force participation. They're looking essentially at, 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 at wage growth. They're looking at demographic shifts. So essentially, they they are looking at a host of different right. different labor market indicators. And he is going to, you know, and, and the FOMC is going to turn their attention um, to essentially whether those indicators are moving in the right direction uh, to provide the conditions for liftoff. And so essentially that's that's going to, you know, that's going to be, you know, a, a, a set of discussions that will continue right. over the next several months at the FOMC.